uh hi friends welcome to my youtube channel i have lined up another awesome tutorial for you today and you are going to learn some cutting edge glasses surface modeling techniques today if you have any question and if, just feel free to drop them in the comment box and please like subscribe to my channel thanks So most majority part uh, I have done in alias sub D and uh, I have imported into KTI work branch and now I'm joining the pages using the join command. My plan is to join two surfaces by using the blend command and uh, now I'm taking the boundaries of both the joint patches. So I am using the parallel command using this curvature option. Uh, so I am taking another parallel curve for this side also with certain distance around 3 or 5 mm. Now split both side. So now I am using a blend command to create a continuity surface, surface patch between these two surface and, uh, so that I could get a wash out of this edge, this particular edge going to be wash out here. I generally use uh, the space command to hide the entities which I have customized okay let's see the result of a plain surface so i i, I think uh, the surface is not so good so by default we will get many patches so now go to the coupling option and uh, please follow what i'm doing so in plain surf command we generally get this kind of patches by default option uh, by using this uh, coupling option we could get a smooth transition between the patches and uh, we can reduce and the patches which will be gives us a good uh, continuity between the surface and stunning at this point we need to add some points so that we can create some artificial uh, uh, coupling point
Okay, so now <clears throat> you are going to learn another interesting command. So this is the band and we will create an intersection between the fender and the band. And just use the intersection command to create the intersecting curves between these two parts. So now the thing is uh, here you got two curves and Katia is asking for you which curve you want to keep. So now here you will keep both the curves and uh, and uh, later you use the extract option to the curve you which one you really want to keep. And now the split the surface and uh, you will get a clean split. Now it's time for the light analysis. Uh, I feel that the current surface quality is not so good and I must need improvement. So I'm going to modify something in the parent surface which I have done in LES sub D. These modifications are really necessary to enhance its aesthetic appeal and functionality. The surface quality must ensure utmost satisfaction for both ourselves and our valued customers in the second part i will make some critical modification to the part so i've done in alias sub d by using some advanced techniques and also there are many more things to learn in katia classic surface in the second part and uh, even, even if you are not familiar with LES sub D, I encourage you to continue watching this second. By doing so, you will gain some basic knowledge of LES sub D and how this modification can significantly enhance the overall quality and visual, visual appeal of glassy surface. Uh, to gain further knowledge on reverse engineering and soft modeling techniques you can join my online training program with my training program you will gain the ability to create flawless aesthetically pleasing surface that goes beyond the basics and thanks for watching goodbye